hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nani back again with another video i hope you guys are doing well today welcome to this channel if you are new here and if you are not new thank you so much for coming back to watch another video of mine and today's video is one of the most requested videos on my channel honestly i've advised people to go to the university website to uh, follow the steps there and to apply and blatantly everyone just keeps asking me please can you show me can you show me how to apply for medicine in bulgaria what do documents do i need to apply in bulgaria what are the steps i need to take to apply in bulgaria and i thought you know what since sending you guys the link which is literally on the university website all the steps are very clear to follow very easy and clear to follow but most people keep asking me you know how do they go about it so i thought you know what maybe it will be beneficial if i do a video a 10 or 15 minutes video talking about the steps on how to apply for medicine in bulgaria i'll have my ipad here and i most likely let me go to the side i most likely will have to put like a screen a small screen on the side to show you guys what I'm doing so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google and then uh, first of all I need to record I'm going to go to Google right now I'm gonna type university oh I'm just gonna get medical university versity Varna okay I'm going to press send and then I'm going to click on the first link once I click on the first link it's going to come up you can change the language okay if you want oh, excuse me if you want you can change the language of this right now it's in English of course but on the right hand corner here you can change it to Bulgarian and I think you can also change it to uh, to German if I'm not mistaken oops okay let me just go back to English okay so now okay I have the page in English right now okay so you can navigate the website it's very nice and clear and yeah you can go up you can see all the things the details that are there so you see right here at the top there's uh, a couple of things writings okay about us admission students library scientific activities and the one you want to click on is admission the next thing you do undergraduate studies and if you want to undertake your studies in english you click on program in english if you are a foreigner that wants to study in the bulgarian course you click on uh, bro you click on program in bulgarian so i'm going to click on english because most people ask for english okay so the next thing that you're gonna the, the page is gonna come up okay this is the next page it has apply now for you eu citizens apply now for non-eu citizens but the next thing we the, the, the most um one of the first information you guys want is like what are the documents you need and how do you go about applying what are the requirements so the first thing we need to do is how to apply okay we click on how to apply and then the options come up it says EU and EEA citizens or international uh, non-EU students. Now I'm going to click on EU students and then it says applicants for the Bulgarian state subsidized study places for the program in English, medicine, dental. So you click on the second one. And then the next one is programs in English, medicine, blah, blah, blah. It says admission. So now you can now click. They have admission criteria, entry test, application process and documents, application deadline. So everything is listed for you. So I'm going to click on admission criteria. Now, when we come on admission criteria, this is all they have. Okay. So they say, excuse me. They say citizens of the countries which are members of the EU and EEA can apply to study at the Medical University of Varna following the same procedures and other and under the same conditions applicable for Bulgarian citizens sitting uh, biology and chemistry entrance tests. Okay? So now it is mandatory that the prospective EU and EEA applicants, you know, you need to have 
follow all of these points that they have number one till number four and the first one is you need to have completed your upper secondary education which is you know secondary school so basically you need to have completed your college years if you are in the e if you're you know if you go for example if you're coming from the uk or you're coming from scotland if you're coming from the uk you must have completed your a levels if you're coming from scotland you must have completed your hires or advanced hires okay so the the first thing is you need to make sure you have completed your uh college years okay i don't know about how it works in africa because i know in africa people especially in nigeria uh, 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 a student graduate quite early they graduate at like 14 or is it 15 like they are already finished with secondary school and higher education whereas all over in 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 other parts of the world we graduate when we are 18 years old okay when you're 18 years old that's when you graduate from from college okay 18 17 years old okay hold a diploma secondary school leaving certificate three a level subjects which enables them to continue their studies in higher education in higher institution and universities in the country in which the upper secondary education has been completed so what they mean here is once you come completed college and your hires you know you've sat those exams you have your a levels results this uh, the completion of your uh, upper secondary school should allow you to apply to university okay it should allow you so now you need a document certifying that oh you you are able to apply and get into university in your country okay in your home country then applicants with uh, diplomas issued from bulgaria please contact uh, you know admission blah 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 uh, and then the next point is have you need to have studied completed and obtained grades in biology and chemistry subjects in the second in secondary school german applicants shall shall refer to our info blood blah 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 they have that okay so the next thing is applicants who have negative evaluation failing marks in any of the above mentioned uh, mentioned two subjects in their secondary school will not take part in the selection program biology and chemistry high school courses marked marked in diploma as optional will not be accepted biology and chemistry courses taught on a degree program university level or in pre-med program and respectively obtained grades on those subjects shall not be accepted in place of the required courses and grades on high school level so that is very important even if you have a degree where in which you have studied biology and chemistry those grades will not be taken as secondary school notes okay so that's what they mean here uh, science subjects and natural sciences will not be uh, sufficient for uh, application for yeah for application purposes and considered as an alternative to biology and chemistry subjects unless cases where the high school law in the blah blah blah, blah. you know you guys can go on the website and read all of these things i don't want to make the video very long because it's already 10 minutes applicants interested in the program taught in english medicine dental medicine and pharmacy sit the biology and chemistry entry test in english those uh, uh, those applicants who have failed any of the entry tests will not participate in the rankings for admission okay so the first thing you need to make sure you have is what you finish your college years you have your a levels ready in biology and chemistry specifically and you need to have 65 percent and above you need to have 65 percent in chemistry 65 percent in biology to be able to apply to medicine if you don't have 50, uh, 65 percent you cannot apply because that's like a c okay and then uh, the next thing they ask is the applicants for the program where the language of institution is English shall prove their English proficiency by taking an English language uh, proficiency test administered by the Department of Foreign Languages. So, yeah, so if you want to study in English, you need to prove that you can speak English. For example, if you're from the UK, then of course you, you would have sat your A level in like or your GCSE in English. So, getting those certificates into your documents is important. And other countries, if you are coming from a, from a country where English is not the first language, then you need to make sure you do maybe IELTS, ESOL International. TOEFL, IBT, TOEFL, PBT, PTE Academic. Okay, so these are all the documents that you need. And then they say for applicants who are citizens of the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, Ireland, the United States, Australia, you know, uh, Canada, and New Zealand, as well as applicants who completed their secondary school in these countries, English language proficiency certificate or English language proficiency test is not required. You don't need to sit the test. So you just need to have 
you just need to have a certificate certifying that or oh, I've taken English in school you know your GCSE or if you did it in a level you put it in your application and you're good to go okay so those are the first documents that you need guys so these are the first thing that you need in order to apply for medicine in Bulgaria now I think I'm gonna make a part two because if I make this only one video it's going to be too long and I don't want you guys to see the length of the video and then you just don't go to, to watch it you know I'm going to leave it as that so this is going to be part one okay guys this is going to be part one the admission criteria I'm going to make the next video like literally after this one I'm going to talk about all this and they're going to be a series of videos so that you guys have everything you know you guys can follow it as I'm reading through it okay so now the first thing you needed for admission criteria is what you need to have completed upper secondary school education hold a diploma secondary school leaving certificate or have three a level subjects that's the first thing now the second thing is you need to have studied completed and obtained grades in biology and chemistry subjects in secondary school in secondary school guys and in secondary school they mean upper secondary school they don't mean GCSEs your GCSE results are not enough for you to apply to medicine in Varna they require you to have a level okay so it's not a s level is a level okay <laughs> i just need to clarify it for you guys because some people might come and ask oh so can i apply with my as level when they say secondary school they mean like you have finished everything from year uh, everything from year 11 or you see from year 12 to year uh, no from year 11 to year 12 you have finished all those years i'm speaking in terms of you being in the uk first, you know? first of all you need to make sure that you're able to apply to a higher education you can go to your school for example you can go to your college and you can ask for a letter certifying that you are allowed or you are uh, um you are qualified yeah you are qualified to apply to university in your home country once you have that letter from your school with a stamp of the school or blah 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 and then you have your uh, uh, your results in biology and chemistry which should be 65 percent in each subject it should be 65 percent in each subject once you have those things then you can apply and the next thing you need to make sure you have is an english proficiency test okay you need to prove that you can speak english if you're not coming from a from an english speaking country you can sign up to a test you can sign up to a preparatory course Vana medical university offers a preparatory course in english they also offer a preparatory course in biology and chemistry if you feel that your your you know your grade were not adequate they can uh, you know you can take those tests so you can attend the preparatory course once you have the grades then you can enter into medicine so, the first thing like i mentioned again i just need to reiterate because i don't want people to be confused the first thing you need uh, is probably a letter certifying that you're able to apply to higher education which is university level okay that you are able to apply to university in your home country the next thing you need to have is you need to have biology and chemistry and you need to have 65 percent and that's going to be a level a level okay so it's not as level it's not gcsc it's not any other qualification if you're in scotland you need to have it at a higher so if you have your highest or advanced highest those one are those are the one that they take and if you are coming from africa for example you need to of course they need to convert your 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 results i think the university will be able to convert it you know so just send them your grades as as long as it's 65 percent in biology and chemistry you are fine and then the next thing you need to prove is english are you able to speak english well or at least i think the level they require is b1 i'm not quite sure your b2 yeah they have it here so you need at least b2 or higher in english okay so that's not too bad like i said uh, the medical university of Vana also offers preparatory courses in english and also for the entrance test and that's basically it that's all the requirements for the first thing stop this stop